Hello and welcome, this is Edward and in this episode of Break Tech from Scratch I will be showing you the most efficient way to stack fusion reactors. So I've gone ahead and made the most basic possible fusion reactor with uh, two material injectors, one material extractor, a fusion reactor computer and four energy injectors. Now there are three possible ways of stacking reactors. You could simply build a reactor on top you know, by putting coils on top of the casings and then uh, building from that. And as well, you can build it next to it. You can build another reactor to the side. And there are two ways in which you can do this. You can start by uh, putting coils here, using the three coils under here, and keep building after that. But the most efficient way, uh, resource-wise, is to overlap a little bit more and actually start your new reactor from here. You put three coils uh, here and now you're gonna save on uh, the two coils that you're supposed to put here and the other two coils. Plus you're gonna be also saving 23 advanced casings. So you put the three coils here, then it's gonna be two coils there and then you just build your reactor like usual. So same thing on the other side. And then you keep going until you got your uh, second reactor. So I'll build it off camera and when I'm done I'll show you guys that it's working. So I finished putting the advanced casings and the coils in the second fusion reactor. Now I just need to put uh, the fusion blocks. So I'll put a fusion material injector here and here. An ex extractor here four energy injectors on one of the corners and finally the fusion control computer if you need a reminder on how to build a fusion reactor you can find episode 7 of Greg Tech from scratch in the playlist I link in the, I link in the description and that episode will show you anything you need to know now the energy injectors uh, need an energy source so let's put this and now let's see if that worked and there you have it, I have a functioning reactor which is filling up with energy here and another reactor that's already filled. So that's the most efficient, resource-wise, way to combine two stack reactors together. And that'll save you um, four fusion coils and 23 advanced casings. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time.